In this video, I'm gonna go over seven skills that you're gonna need as a cybersecurity analyst. Now this position is also known as a SOC analyst. What exactly does a cybersecurity analyst do? And the answer is the security analyst responsible for protecting the organization by detecting, responding, and preventing potential security challenges. I do have a video if you want to check that out, I'll link it here, but here's the brief version. Day-to-day -day duties will look like capturing live network traffic and analyzing the logs, correlating alerts with data sources from other logs, using a a security information event management tool such as Splunk to configure dashboards and reports. This is where all the logs might be. Following a playbook to create an incident report. Analyze alerts based on captured network traffic. Now this will always vary depending on the company. Every company is different, so always make sure to check the job duties on the job description. But again, sometimes those aren't even really that accurate. Sometimes you don't really know until you get there. This channel is all about about helping you change your career into cybersecurity and tech. So please like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into the video. So the first skill that you definitely need as a cybersecurity analyst is networking. Now you don't need to be an expert level networker. However, knowing the basics of networking would be very valuable because a lot of common attacks happen when the data is passing from one computer to the next. Now there's a whole bunch that goes on in those points and so you kind of need to know what is going on. You'll need to know like what are network and security applications, what are firewalls, what's TCP IP, do you know what the OSI model is? Also knowing the basics of network topology, basic network equipment would be extremely helpful and a great place to start with this is the CompTIA Network Plus. You don't have to get that certification but it does have a lot of good base knowledge that you you should know. You could also go for the CCNA if you're a little bit more ambitious, but going for the CCNA may be a little bit overwhelming depending where you are in your learning. I know if I was starting out, I would be completely overwhelmed by CCNA. I would stick to the CompTIA and Net Plus, but maybe you already have like a good basis. The next really valuable cybersecurity analyst skill would be security information event management tools and knowing knowledge of what exactly they do. Basically, Basically what SIM technologies are is that they receive information from all of the log files of critical systems that you have in your network and centralize the collection of all of that data. You'll be spending a ton of time using this technology. So if you can master the concepts of security information event management tools, then you, you will have a really good solid foundation for becoming a SOC analyst or cybersecurity analyst because a lot of your duties are going to be monitoring through the SIM. Poorly alerts in the sim and that is also where a lot of logs are stored. Common solutions that are used are Splunk. Uh, if you can learn Splunk like the back of your hand you'll have no problem getting a job. Q Radar, which is IBM sim technology. ArcSight which is HP. Alien Vault which is an open source version. So you could always start with Alien Vault because it is free and they do have a commercially available version so maybe the company you get a job at will have Alien Vault. Vault. And logging is super important and it's actually part of the OWASP top 10. Most of your time will be spent here and you don't need to know all of the, the popular sims but mastering one will actually give you a really good basis of what they do and how to use them. I do have training below for different types of sims in the link below in the description. The third skill that you're really going to need to know as a cybersecurity analyst is network analysis. You're going to need a basis of networking to know how to do network analysis. But basically what network analysis is monitoring network availability and activity to find anomaly, including security and operational issues. So things like collecting a real-time and historical record of what's happening on your network to detect malware or ransomware or some, some type of attack that may be going on. Usually you will do this with a packet analyzer and Wireshark is a really good packet analyzer and it is absolutely free to use and set up. And some things that Wireshark can be used for is troubleshooting networks, detect security threats such as port scanning on a network, learning more about network protocols at the microscopic levels, performing analysis of 
voice over internet or voice player shark is a great place to start. I do have training below in the description if you want to go explore exactly more about Wireshark and learning more about network analysis. The next really important cybersecurity analyst skill that you can have is Windows operating systems and Linux. If you don't have a knowledge base of different operating systems and how they work, it might be a little bit difficult. So Linux works completely different than how Windows works. By learning operating systems work, you can really just get a good idea of how it can be attacked. You don't need to be like a pro, however, just knowing the basics of operating systems and how they differ from each other would be very valuable. If you don't know anything about IT or operating systems or networking, a really good course to start with would be the Google IT support certification. It does say IT support, but it teaches you really good basics and the link is below. I also have a review on it. It's an amazing course. I strongly suggest it. My next cybersecurity analyst skill may come at a surprise. You're gonna need to know about security topics such as different vulnerabilities, different types of attacks, threats, what, a, what threat modeling is, risk management, and all of those types of things. And you're gonna have to have a good basis because this is what your job is all about. The best way to learn all of these concepts is by the CompTIA Security Plus. I'm not sponsored by them. It is just a really good starting point. It, it'll teach you things like cryptography and PKI, vulnerabilities, compliance, things like GDPR and HIPAA and wireless, mobile, data attacks, cloud security, secure protocols and unsecure protocols and all of that sort. It is an amazing starting point. And if you have any interest in cybersecurity, it's a great place. And then beyond that, they actually do have a CYSA plus, which would further your skills and teach you even more about becoming a cybersecurity analyst. I strongly suggest checking out these types of certifications at first if you're new to the field because it can be overwhelming and you can get sucked into a thousand different directions. My next skill that you should have is just a basic knowledge of what 800-53 is and 800-30 is. Now these are two separate skills. So if anyone says why there's only six, these are two different skills. And knowing the basics of these, really good because these are guidelines put out to everyone on how to secure a network. And if you can understand the operational cybersecurity standards, you'll have a really good view of what's going on at your job. Now the government in all sections really just follow NIST 800-53, but private sectors do also. They're just not as probably gung-ho about it. In 800-53, it goes over confidentiality, integrity, availability, change management, FISMA, privacy controls, privacy functions, privacy requirements, RMF, risk management framework, security requirements, security systems, and all of that fun stuff. It can be a little hard to comprehend, but if you could just get like a base knowledge of it, it would be really good. Now the next one, because you are a cybersecurity analyst, would be the NIST 800-30, and this one is all about risk assessment. Assess and improve ability to prevent, detect, and respond to cyber attacks, and that is why you cyber security analyst exist so because it's risk mitigation if you go into an interview and you can talk about NIST 800-30 and NIST 800-53 they would probably love you and these documents are available for free so you can go check those out and that is my final cybersecurity analyst skill that you could need. I have tons of other videos on cybersecurity. Check those out and hopefully you can explore the possibilities that exist in cybersecurity world. I will see you then. Thanks.